the Big 12 remaining teams are going to be losing a ton of money when all of this stuff goes down. And a Kansas senator has asked the U.S. Senate Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation to hold a hearing to examine conference realignment's effect on, quote, the state of competitiveness within college athletics, as well as the role of broadcast companies in realignment. And this was reported by the Manhattan Mercury on Friday. It's Manhattan, Kansas. So, Kansas State, you get the connection. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, Senator Jerry Moran, or Morin, or however you say it, said he was extremely troubled by allegations that broadcasters have attempted to incentivize conference cons- uh, consolidation. Now, this is all because of Bob Bowlesby and the letter that he sent to ESPN, the cease and desist and and all that kind of mess. And then Bowlesby, you know, it tampered down and said, hey, you know what, it's, it's not worth discussing. We're not going to, you know, talk about this a whole lot because it's one of their own broadcast partners. It's ridiculous. But, you know, you can understand why they would be so irritated because they are about to go from making $37 million a year in media rights down to... At fifteen million a year, yeah. I guess. I mean, that is a lot of jobs in those states that are gone. You are not going to be bringing, and you won't be bringing in the same kind of crowds, all that kind of stuff, because you're not going to have the same matchups. Texas and Oklahoma aren't going to be coming every other year. Like it's it's going to cause an issue. And while we get that, I don't get what this has to do with Congress. I don't think, like, we we have seen the NCAA try to get involved with the Senate and all that before, and while everybody has an opinion, everybody has that, da, 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 you remember this happened with the NIL, nothing ever got done with it. They never put out anything. We, we talked about it for months, and nothing ever happened. I don't know that there is anything that Congress can do about this, because the schools themselves are the ones, again, back in 1984, They fought the NCAA to get their rights to sell to the highest bidder. And just because the highest bidder is no longer offering the same amount of money because you are no longer tied with the bigger brands, I don't think that that is anything that the U.S. government should be involved in. Do you feel the same? So what I think is happening here is this is Bob Bowlesby has fingerprints on it. Okay. Yes. Bob Bowlesby is, I'm going to, I'm going to be good TV partners with ESPN because I want to maintain this relationship. But he has relationships in all these states with powerful people. And I think this is, hey, I need you guys to fight this from that side. And I think what they're asking for from a Senate perspective, if I'm not, and I might be wrong here, I think they're asking for investigative help. I think they want somebody to investigate and look into what happened here? Did we get any kind of tampering stuff that would cause, you know, some, I would guess say restitutions to be paid to the big 12 yeah. by either ESPN or Texas and Oklahoma or the SEC. Um, whoever, whoever was in the wrong here, I guess it couldn't be Texas and Oklahoma. They're free to do whatever they want. Yeah. But if, if there's tampering to be done by the SEC or by ESPN or by both, it's going to be really hard, I think, to investigate some of that stuff. But if you're using the federal branch of government, then then that becomes a lot easier because yeah, we we have this thing that people like me really, really, really hate called the Patriot Act. But that means that it you don't you don't you don't need uh uh what whatever it's called the the federal like a like, warrant like a- yeah you don't well you don't need warrants you yeah. you definitely don't need the uh, FOIA request like yeah. you don't you don't need any of that. You, you can just go into, what if they didn't use the state computers? And what if they didn't use the university computers? And what if they use their own computers? Well, if the federal government investigates it. That's fine, too. We can follow all those IP addresses, and we can track everything down, and we have documentations of everything that has been sent over the Internet, and we can find it because that's the government that we live in. Yeah, yeah. That's a completely different conversation. But I think that's why that's why these guys are reaching out to that. They're looking for rest. I don't think they're looking to re- mend this relationship or to not allow Texas and Oklahoma to go. I think they're looking for somebody in the courts to say tampering was involved. These contracts were done under shady business and a percentage of the money that that is going to Texas and Oklahoma every year now goes to the Big 12. That's that's just it. Yeah. Okay. I can. That makes a lot of sense to me. 
a lot of sense. They they want to figure out what exactly happened here. There is a part in this article that says, last month, Big 12 Commissioner Bob Bowlesby sent a cease and desist letter to ESPN alleging the network is colluding with and encouraging at least one other conference to poach their remaining eight members. Now, it says multiple sources confirmed to The Athletic that the American Athletic Conference has attempted to engage three to five Big 12 members about potentially joining the conference with ESPN's support. That's that's interesting, for sure. But I still don't know what can be done about it. Even if, like, if they did find out, yeah, it's all going to be money. money. But but what what the senator has said, he said uh, it is causing extreme concern about the future of college sports. I I don't no, know that this changes that's, any of that, Gary. Like that's. That's government speak. That's politics speak to where I have to I have to put fear. I have to somehow show the public that this is something you should be afraid of. OK, yeah, that's that's their That's all these people do, by the way. It, it doesn't matter if you're on the left, <laughs> you're on the right. It's I have to make somebody think in order for you to act on something urgently, you have to be afraid of it. This yes. is going to ruin college sports, Gary. Oh, of course if we is. don't stop it, it's going to ruin it. So. It's, it says uh, Moran State is home to two Big 12 universities, Kansas and Kansas State. In his letter, he said the consolidation of college athletics' biggest brands could have a, quote, severe economic impact on college towns like Lawrence and Manhattan. Well, yeah. I mean, it, <laughs> yes, of course sure. it is. Absolutely. Of course. So I, I, am, I am curious what they will end up doing with it. I, it, it this, is, this is so interesting to see. I have I've never seen anything like this in college sports. I don't even know what to make of it. I just but it's going to be funny. It's going to be I'm curious funny. how it's going to play out. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at @garywce at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.